Hi guys, it's Purple Penguin, and today I'm going to be doing um, videos on hamster food. So I'm going to be doing more hamster food videos when I get my hamster. But today I'm going to be telling you like fruits and vegetables and protein, and, like meats and stuff, that hamsters are and are not allowed. Um, also I'm going to be telling you how to change your hamster food. So if you're feeding your hamster a mix and you want to change the mix because you realise your hamster doesn't like it or it's bad for them or something like that, how you need to change it so they don't get upset or upset. So they don't get an upset stomach. So we're going to start with vegetables that they can eat. So before I say, well before I start, I'm going to say I got this list from Only Hamster Advice and you should check her out if you haven't and you're looking for hamster care videos because she's well she's like really good so so vegetables asparagus bean sprouts bok choy broccoli brussels sprouts cabbage in small amounts cauliflower celery chard chestnuts chickweed chicory clover cucumbers dandelion flowers and leaves everdine green beans green pepper kale orange pepper parsnips potatoes red cooked radicchio Red pepper, romaine lettuce, spinach, Swiss chard, turnip, water chestnuts, watercress, yellow pepper, and zucchini. Then next are protein, meats and proteins that they're allowed. So cooked and seasoned ground beef, baked, stemmed and seasoned turkey, low fat cottage cheese, grasshoppers, pet shop only, mealworms, pet shop only, crickets, pet shop only, eggs. That can be boiled or scrambled, but have to be plain. Um, plain tofu, plain yogurt with no sugar added. So you can feed them dog biscuits, hard dog biscuits. Make sure they do not contain any garlic, onion, or like herbs and stuff. That they're not allowed. Okay, so you can feed them dog treats and stuff. Just make sure that none of that stuff is in it. It doesn't have to be hard, but it can't be too soft. So other foods are corn, acorns, alfalfa. Buckwheat, brown rice, cooked or plain. Um, I know where I am. Cereal, low or no sugar. Cheese, mild, lower fat, in small amounts. Dried toast, whole wheat with no white. Flaxseed, lentils, nuts, spinach, peanuts, plain. They're plain and unsalted. Popcorn, plain unsalted, pumpkin seeds, soybeans, roasted and salt free, squash seeds and sunflower seeds. So, yeah, next is stuff that they're not allowed. And yes, let's bring some paper. That's our message. Okay, um, what, what to not feed your hamsters? Buttercups, chocolate, onions, garlics, peanuts, peanut, bad, no, not peanuts, peanut butter, sandwich meat, almonds apple seeds canned foods and other processed foods candy junk foods um pork potatoes raw kidney beans eggplant fool's parsley grape seeds avocado raw rhubarb tomato leaves um citrus fruits like um oranges lemons and garlics they're, they're not fruits, but garlic is citrus, so. Watermelon, fruit pits, most fruit seeds, jam, jellies, and salt. Leeks and scallions, chives, pickle. Leeks, scallions, chives, pickles. So, when you're changing your hamster's food, if you change it all of a sudden, like they're on one food, then one day, you, you're just giving them food, they run out. So they run out of food. There's no food left. So they're eating this food. Okay. So let's say they're they're eating burgers. I don't know. I'm just showing something. Burgers on Monday. They finished eating their burgers. And they... Sorry about that. Um, sorry if that scared you. It would have scared me if I was watching it. Okay. Um. So yeah, they were feet. They were eating burgers, and you wanted to make them eat donuts. So, um, all of a sudden, they ran out of food. 
and you suddenly get them donuts. They will get stressed and they will get an upset stomach really bad. It, they would not like it at all. And they, there are some really serious cases. I don't want to put it there, but they might die. But probably not. Okay? So I don't want to make anyone say, you know. Um, so you need to change their food, mixing a little bit of the new food in the thing and take... So, so you're giving them a set amount of food each day, right? Over a period of 7 to 10 days, they need to... Um, you need to take away some of the old food and put in some new food. Then take away more of the old food and put in more new food. And do that until it's all new food and they're used to it. You probably want to start, if you normally scatter feed like me, you probably want to start putting in a food bowl in the changing parts and get them used to the new food before, like, I can't find my old food. So, uh, you might want to sometimes give them that old food. If it's unhealthy, then maybe you want to give a bit of it. But if it's bad for them, like, it could kill them, then don't give it at all. Okay, just check on the time. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please leave your comments, like, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. So, yeah, I will be making lots more videos in the future. And, yeah, bye for now. Oh, this video is not edited. <laughs>